Mining Pascal Coin with Gateless Gate and AMD GPUs on Supernova.cc in Linux. Here I am at Supernova.cc. If I scroll down, I'll find Pascal Coin. I'll go ahead and click on Start Mining, which will take me to the pasc.supernova.cc page. I'm going to click on Help and Getting Started. Here I can see there is a Linux miner. Instead of using this one, I'm going to go to GitHub and use Zawawa's Gateless Gate at github.com backslash Zawawa backslash Gateless Gate. I want to download the source code for Linux 0.1.3. You can see I've already downloaded that. I'll scroll down further down the page. And you can see instructions for building, dependencies, mandatory, optional. I'm not going to be installing ADL. You can try it if you want to. And also autoconf and automake. So I'll extract the archive. Go into the folder and then into the SRC folder. Here I'm going to open a terminal. First, I'll go ahead and I'll install autoconf. So sudo apt install autoconf, hit enter, type in my password and hit enter. Y for yes, enter. That's installed. I can go ahead and install the rest of the dependencies. So I'll highlight that and copy it. I'll type in sudo space and then I'll paste in the dependencies line. Hit enter. That will install all the rest of the dependencies for me. Now again, I'm not going to install the ADL. I'm going to skip the first two git commands and copy the auto reconf space dash i and then paste that into my terminal and hit enter. Then I'll copy the next command from C flags to dot backslash configure. If you want, you can add more options after as below. I'll paste that into my terminal and hit enter. Then I'm going to type in make and hit enter. And this will build the miner for me. Now it's finished. I can go back to Supernova. I'm going to click on my account and my workers. And I'm going to create a new worker, 470. Worker password, mine pass. And click on add new worker. My worker has been added. So I'll close the terminal and go back to the folder until I find gateless gate dash pascal dash platform zero dot sh. I'm going to open this file. It will open in gedit. You can see the kernel is already on pascal and the pool is already on supernova. So I just have to change my user information. I'll change Zawawa to crypto mind and gateless gate to 470. And then I'll change the password x to mine pass so it matches my worker information. Everything else is set, so I'll click on Save and close that. Then I'll right-click on the file and go to Properties. In Properties, I'll go to Permissions, and I'll make sure that Allow Executing File as Program is checked. Then I'll go up to the top left corner to Files, Edit, Preferences. Under Behavior, I'll make sure that it's Ask Each Time or Run Executable. I'll use Ask Each Time. I'll close that. Now I can double-click on the sh file, run it in the terminal, and that launches the miner.
You can see here it's picked up all six of my 480s. This is my RX 480 rig. I'll go back to my dashboard and you can see my dashboard will update. I'll go to my account and edit account. And here is where I would put in my payment address, my account number, and my payment ID. I'm using Poloniex in this example. I'll go back to dashboard. You can see the dashboard has been updated. It sees my worker, hash rate, and difficulty. You can see my hash rate has increased to over 600 mega hashes per second. Without the screen recorder on, it actually hashes at over 700 mega hashes per second per GPU. The screen recorder seems to slow it down a little bit. So I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and thanks for watching.